Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And, and we, we are, are Paradigm DJ. DJ. And welcome to Celebrity Silhouette. We are so ready for 10 fun-filled days of Caribbean ports and one new one for us. That's true. Where are we going? You've got the list. We're going to St. Martin, St. Lucia, Tobago. That's Ooh, the new that's one. New. Grenada and Antigua. Nice. So excited. So we've got two sea days down, nice Southern Caribbean loop, two sea days back. Ooh. Time for lots of relaxation. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. So <laughs> obviously first we need to throw it back because we're on the ship now. So we need to let you know how we got here. We did use Park by the Ports again because that's become our go-to for Fort Extremely Lauderdale. Extremely handy. Yes. Yeah. So here we go. Sending you back in time. <laughs> Welcome back to Park by the Ports. We have located the casino here in Dania Beach. We have checked in over at the little orange trailer and we're ready to load up and head to Port Everglades. And the service here does include four passengers shuttled over to the cruise pier free of charge. Anybody above that is $8 per person. All aboard. Welcome to Terminal 25. We are carry-on, so we didn't have any bags to declare, as it were. Let's get in here. There she is, first peeks at our ride for the next 10 days. Well, here is where we will be sorted into our houses by arrival time slot. <laughs> well, they've sent us to the elevators today, so we're gonna go up and get checked in. We'll see you on the other side. Well, while we sit here, we'll go to the safety section and see if we can watch our sideways safety video and get all this out of the way for our muster drill. We have made it through all of the stations and we are ready to board. I'm excited. First steps on board Silhouette. 10 amazing days of Caribbean ports ahead. It looks like we've come in here on deck five. Oh, we found some tables to settle in here at Cafe Al Bacchio. Is it Bacchio or Bacchio? Why can't I remember? We got tunes coming from the atrium area. Sushi on five in that direction. Welcome on board our beautiful celebrity silhouette. Now, while you're exploring the ship, we would like to remind you about our new mandatory guest safety briefing procedures. Once you've watched this video, you will need to physically proceed to your assigned assembly station. Well, fun fact, now that we are on board the ship and connected to the Wi-Fi, we're finally able to do the safety video. It would not let us do it in the terminal on data, so I don't know if that's our phones or just the thing where you need to be on ship Wi-Fi. It's probably the thing where you need to be on ship Wi-Fi. Yo, they came around and brought me a little white log. I mean, it's a little warm in here, so they are handing out face towels, which is awesome. I think it's time to seek out our muster drill. We're gonna come here by all these shops and things. Uh, we've got the entertainment court, which is almost like a secondary atrium where they play games and stuff. Uh, I see muster station A up here. Uh, looks like only A1, 2, and 3 are on this deck. So I think we will head up, drop our stuff off, and come back down and muster. Uh, we should be in this interior hallway. Good morning, Sensei. There we are, 7162. So we have made it to the cabin. I don't know if it's fully complete yet, but let's do a quick cabin tour. There was a note on the door saying that they were putting the finishing touches on, but let's peek it. Well, we'll start here at the door with all the safety information. We do have a couple of hooks up here on the wall. Uh, the light switches do not require key cards. I do like that. Uh, thermostat, take a peek in the bathroom. Oh, we got a couple of hooks up there. So we have sort of a corner shower pod. Actually, the sizing doesn't look too bad on that, but you know, we'll look at that a little later on. Here's the main bathroomy area. Lots of storage. Oh yeah, all those shelves. Okay. Sneaky cabinets, drawers, little cabinet there. Nice. So standing at the door, let's look in. I think we are in what they call a category 11 interior. We got the full length mirror to this side. Here's where they keep their D's. Let's check this couch out. It's a nice spacious couch. I nice do like work that. area. Look at this desk. Just ignore all these bags and things. Well, yeah, we have to put these away. It's yeah. comfortable though. Nice table. Um, we got a little vanity set up on this side. So you can have this zone. Thank I'm going to have this as my work zone. Sounds good. Big mirror up here, there's the TV. Oh, let's check out the power solutions before we get too far. So we've got, this must be the vanity light, 
couple of standard outlets, as I call them, one sort of European outlet and some data ports, which we don't use. Paperwork, what's happening over here? I don't see any uh, power by the bed, but that's okay. <laughs> Got the phone on my side. Bed, of course. A little artwork. Oh, you poor little horses. Are you okay? They look cute. Let's see. Oh, we've got those cabinets above the bed, of course. That's one of my favorite things. I love that storage. Oh, Ooh, let me get over here and look at it. Oh, wow, and it just flies right up. <laughs> so that's good. I like when they have those powerful springs in there. And then little storage units on the side. Man, the storage in this cabin, though. Okay, we got drawers. What is this? This is, oh, I haven't even looked in the closet yet. Oh, there's the safe. This must be, yep, a little fridge. Over here, which I skipped because the bags were in the way, was the closet. Whoop. Hey, they give us an umbrella. Mm. Nice big hangy space. They've got some bars that sort of can fold down and convert. Nice, I can deal with this for 10 days. It's a nice size room with plenty of storage. I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so while we were in the cabin, they have come around and removed those things from the door. So we are good to be in the cabin. Now and we're leaving, we're leaving it. We're going to find that muster station. Down to deck four. So our muster station should be in the theater. There we go. A4, A5, A6. And we are done. All we had to do was scan in and understand that this is our muster location. Perfect. I like these little stations that they have for button pressing, sort of in between the elevators. I think we will head to food time. Welcome to deck 14. There's the Sky Lounge. All of the food should be out here to the back. We'll pass the solarium area. Oh, the mast bar looks like the place to be. Get a peek down on the pool deck while we're up here. Nice little whirlpools. There's the sign I've been looking for. Oh, I love when the first station I see is ice cream. All right, let's have a wander, see what we come away with. We have located the salad bar. Oh, they're making safety announcements, but anyway, we snagged a table on the inside. We've got Mexican food, we've got salads. We are done with lunch. I think we're gonna actually head back to the cabin, do a little unpacking. Sounds like a plan. There's old Liberty of the Seas in port with us today. Good evening. We have been in the room for a little while, got unpacked, chilled. Um, I edited half a video. You yeah. watched a whole movie. And um, worked. Yeah. We got to get out of this cabin. We, do. we so, need to go explore. Yeah. We've officially sailed away because I can feel us moving. There wasn't much of a sail away party. They had music, I think, at 3.30, which was the sail away party. It said games. Yeah. But now let's go explore. We need to do some walkie decks, maybe listen to some music. We got to get some dinner eventually. Let's go check it all out. Come on. Let's get in some walkie walkies on the walkie deck. So most of the living down below seems to happen on four and five. We live in the front, so let's go down to five forward. At the very front, we've got the theater. Oh, okay, these are the shops and things, which we did kind of pass through earlier. This is that front, I keep calling it a front atrium area, but where you can, they usually do games and stuff like that out here. Oh, a little bar over there too. Entertainment court. Are they painting a turtle? turtle. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Shops, shops, shop, shop, shops. Well, there's the world class bar as we make our way midship. There's the main atrium where we were earlier with Sushi on 5. And of course, the cafe whose name I never know how to pronounce correctly. Ooh, they've also got the gelato counter over here. Let's see if we can get a non glary peak. Ooh, some of them flavors. Coconut, rum, raisin, banana, mango, strawberry. This is not included, of course. So coming off this other elevator lobby now, we've got the Ensemble Lounge. Why are animal noises? <laughs> Whoa. I think you're supposed to feel an immersive experience and like, it's working, yeah. It's like the Garden of Eden. What is this? Ensemble Vestibule. You can sit on a rock. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, this is ensemble. I think we're making our way back toward the steakhouse and stuff. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, yep, the retreat lounge. Morano, of course. Sounds like they called it a moron, but that was not the intent. Ah, live music. Stage area over here. This leads back to Cuisine and the Tuscan Grill, which I think is officially the back of this deck. We've done it! Now there's no um, animal noises in this vestibule, but we've got all the art. <laughs> and another rock. rock. This plays rocks. It does. Onward. I got a rock. I did not know this was like an art gallery. A mirror. M well, okay, yeah. <laughs> Does this supposed to make me look skinny? Oh, it didn't even let me see myself. Wow, that's freaky. I don't like this mirror. <laughs> it's not very useful. Huh. Okay, this is fascinating. Cuisine. Yep, there's cuisine. Spin around over here. We've got Tuscan. And then what? Oh, okay, blue. like a... That's oh, that cute. was blue that's and this is Tuscan. So this is where like our loyalty breakfast lounge is back here in Tuscan. Like, yes. Also a specialty restaurant. Back to the jungle we go. So this reminds me of like the edge class and kind of yeah. what they turned into like with developing it. Oh, weird hallways, you know. <laughs> Let's jump down to deck four. Well, here at the back of deck four, we have the Grand Cuvée dining room. This is actually our dining room on deck four, the uh, Celebrity Select Dining. I guess it tells you the uh, dress code each night. So smart, casual tonight. Well, there we've got craft social. And what's on the other side of the atrium? Ah, the martini bar and crush. Oh, casino, which is open. All right, we're gonna look around in here. We'll try to get you guys back in here sometime when it's closed. Oh, it's actually not open yet. We are not far enough into our journey. All right, well, this connects you back out to the Esplanade style walkway. Oh, that's right. The casino is flanked by all the shops. Uh-oh, I've lost D. There she is out here picking, picking some good machines. So one good thing I like about the casinos on Celebrity is that they're non-smoking. At least, unless, I think if there's like an actual casino cruise, sometimes they'll do that. But otherwise, it's nice. You can breathe that fresh air. All kinds of table games. It's pretty gigantic in here, actually. Just like a big room. With a whole bunch of slot slots. A little casino bar. Looks like they got some sports playing on the TV screens. You can sport all the sports in here. This whole ship is like an art appreciation lesson. It's beautiful. I appreciate it. All right, photo gallery. Oh, there's a little kiosk in the future cruise area here just off Quasar and the entertainment court. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. having Equinox I'm flashbacks. How this works now. Yes. Oh man, let's come peek at Quasar. So this is the like super futuristic nightclub-y concept. We didn't really ever spend much time in here, but we maybe we'll not. make a change this time and do it. There's a bar. Oh, these gigantic booths. Wow. Dance floor over there. Oh, Got kind of the DJ booth over here in the giant airplane cockpit space capsule thing. Oh, this is trippy. Don't look into the light. Don't. It's so pretty though. I love it. This is making really cool photos. Now well, let's venture onward. Ooh. Celebrity Central. So this is, oh, okay, right next to the theater. Theater's here, Celebrity Central's here. I remember we did some game shows and things on Equinox. I think they show movies in here sometimes. Nice. Um, I think they do some adult activities and game shows in. Oh, not yet. It's closed. All right, we'll show you eventually. Just don't go it's very there. Very cool though. Yeah, we were just standing here. I wonder if we were crazy because we're hearing voices, but you can very faintly hear a movie, a dialogue coming out of the speaker in the ceiling. Freaky. What are they watching? The Hunger Hell Games, Games. Ballad of Songbirds, and Snakes. The new one. There we go. That brings us back up to the theater at the very front of deck four now. Well, now I believe we will find a place to settle in and just relax a while. Do hmm. you shopping already? Well, no. Oh, it's, it's a clearance rack. It's a clearance V-neck shirt with celebrity, but it's like still $32.49 on I clearance. Mean, I'm sure it's lovely, but. Hmm. Don't know. Well, I'm going to clearance myself out of here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so there's Crush again. Oh, we found a couple of chairs to settle in over here. Nice. Enjoy the lively martini bar. 
Well, we have got a couple of espresso martinis. They have given us some artwork. Look at this one. A little bear with a belly button made out of a coffee bean. They've also brought us some snacks. Oh, yeah, I forgot they got that high-quality snack mix on here with all them goodies. Mm. Now, most of the martinis here are running about $17, it looks like. They've got some nice desserty kind and twisted martinis. Oh, build your own flight for $40. Wines, spirits, bears. Some guitar tunes have started up out here in the Grand Foyer. I keep calling it an atrium. It is the Grand Foyer. Well, now let's sneak around the corner. Oh, it's open. <laughs> and now dining room time. Oh, we are in the balcony of the dining room. Done with the dinner. Let's go to the sky. Welcome to literally the Sky Lounge. You guys hear the wind? Well, I don't know if the wind comes out on the camera. That's insane. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Yeah, wow. So there's a bunch of games and things going on up here in a little while. I guess we'll just come hang out. And Barbie Girl is playing. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, there is the bar area. The stage is kind of um, over to the side. So yeah, this is a little bit of a twisted sky lounge. Wow, the number of chairs around this place. They got like loungy chairs. This is awesome, giant booths. They're rocking chairs. You have rocking chairs? Wait, that's cool. Oh guys, this place rocks. <laughs> oh, this would be amazing on a sea day. Yep, here's your view for now, but. Well. Uh, <laughs> Sure, it gets better. Normally, it's not like this. All right, so you, all right, you're gonna go. All right, okay. I'm gonna, Wait, I'm, no. I'm gonna rock opposite you. Oh, okay. Ah, no, we messed it up. We, <laughs> we are not good at rocking. What's up with us? Maybe you messed it up. <laughs> so there's a few things going on up here. There's a true or false game show coming up. Oh man, they had a pre-recorded 50s music marathon. Oh, there's some pub quiz. There is a welcome aboard show today, which we passed by earlier. It was kind of like a. Uh, they brought out the comedian to do some comedy and stuff. Uh, maybe as like a little teaser. Music trivia. Charades. There's an adult game show called Frisky Say It down in that little uh, Celebrity Central Theater area. Oh, they just turned the lights out. Guess it's time for bed. Hmm. Oh, and then we've got a time change tonight. All I have to do is just look at the reflection of the scene behind me in this window that we're facing, and I can just watch everything from right here in my rocking chair. That does rock. <laughs> Well, we've upgraded to some different chairs here so that we can view some of these games and whatnot properly. Well, it looks like true or false is getting ready to roll. So we now welcome as many as you as possible here into the floor, and you can bring your drinks, whatever you're drinking, bring it with you. So I'm going to read a, a statement. If you believe that the statement is true, then you're going to move to the left side. If you believe that the statement is false, then you move to the right side. Now, the last person is standing here on the floor will get a life changing price, all right? It's true!
offense. Back out into the world. We have returned to the cabin to find our celebrity today for tomorrow. And we've got chocolate on the pillows, which is dark for both of us. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. Woo! <laughs> what do we have to talk about? Mostly just dinner, I guess. Yeah, we walked around, saw some cool stuff, and went to the first game show that they've had, mm -hmm. which was true or false. And I guess they're going to move all the other game shows to that little... Celebrity Celebr Central. No, no, no. Oh, the other thing. Entertainment court? Entertainment court, yeah. Oh, which is a lot whoops. smaller. So I get those two confused. We'll see how that goes That's from true. here on out. <laughs> the adult stuff goes into Celebrity Central. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's dish on dinner. <laughs> so you started off with a beet and feta salad, yeah. Yeah. and uh, red beets, feta, tomato, and like arugula. It's really good. I've had it before. It was a lot of feta though. I can it was see that. very salty feta, but it all was very tasty, maybe less cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. I can't help it. Speaking of cheese, I had French onion soup and it had cheese on it. Now, I've been trying to remember what cruise line has my favorite French onion soup. It might have been Celebrity because this was a daggone good French onion <laughs> soup. Wasn't piping hot, which, I mean, I don't like it when it burns my face off, but good oniony flavor, yum yum melty cheese. Can't go wrong. Yeah. You had a pork chop. Yes. So it didn't bill itself as a fried pork chop, but that's okay. Mm. Um, and then it had like a sweet potato with marshmallow y stuff piped on and green beans. It was delicious. The green beans, in my opinion, were really underdone. Like, mm, they were barely really al dente. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was it was really tasty. The pork chop was cooked perfectly, which is hard to do with a fried pork chop. That's true. Yeah. Because, see, I had green beans on mine also, which was the jerk chicken. So, <laughs> nice and spicy. Burnt my lips. I like it. A little, <laughs> little uh, pain with your dinner is always a good thing. Sure. But I had the green beans, too. Some rice. Good combination, just spicy enough. Nice. Mm. Let's move to dessert. Now you had ice cream. I had the frozen yogurt, the That's right. lychee vanilla. Yep. Lychee, lychee, I don't know how you say I don't it. Either. Tomato, tomato. Delicious. Yeah, really, really good. Definitely had the flavor of lychee, lychee. <laughs> Remember what we talked about earlier? Cheese, and I had cheese, and it had blue. No, it was a very mild blue, but it was a good blue. Everything else on there was good. Can't go wrong with a cheese plate. And of course, I also had rum raisin ice cream because anytime that's on a menu, I turn into a grandpa and I order rum raisin ice cream. <laughs> Lots of dairy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm full of dairy, y'all. That was it. Yeah, so now we're gonna retire, get a little work done, go we to get bed. An hour. We lose an lose hour. Lose an tonight, hour. So that's always super fun. <laughs> yeah, true. But we will see y'all tomorrow mm -hmm. for a day at sea. Lots of fun. <laughs> Bye.